guys, it's me, Nikki411, and today I want to give you four simple strategies on how to get your guy or your girl back. So you've been together for a while, and suddenly your mate, your partner, um, drops a bomb on you. So how do you get this person back? All right, so these are four rules. There's four very basic rules that leverage some of the most basic things about human psychology. Okay, so now rule number one, do not call, do not text. Unfollow him or her from social media. Don't show up at his house. Don't call his friends crying. Don't call his family crying. Don't do any, any of that. Just ghost him. Ice him. Ice him out. And do this for like two to three weeks, right? Do this for two to three weeks where you just completely step away. Completely step away where he's going to now be wondering, hey, what's up with her? Did I make the right decision? Just completely stop calling him. Don't just just act as if he didn't exist anymore. Okay, so then after that time elapses, I'm not saying to initiate any contact. Don't. After that time elapses, you're gonna have an answer. Either he was done and is done and you need to move on, or you're gonna start hearing back from this person, right? But if if you do, don't jump back into it. Do not jump back into it. Now you're going to start spoon feeding him, right? Crumbs. Don't make yourself available to that person at all. In the same way you guys were when you were together, don't, don't do it at all. No kissing, none of that, none of it. You really kind of have to completely change your whole um, game plan. So that's number one. Okay, so the second, the second thing is, you now want to go out and take a friend Take um, a cousin that he doesn't know, or a friend, or someone, but someone that looks good. You know, someone looks nice, looks put together, maybe has a nice car, whatever. And go out, right? Go out to be seen by either him or his friends, right? Go out to be seen with either him or his friends. Um, granted, and this is a disclaimer, do not do this if this person is like a violent person because then that just would be cool. But go out, be seen, be like, you know, just make sure you come across and you're seen as um, a as prize, that you're seen as a desirable person that should be sought after, right? So be seen with someone that looks good, hopefully better than the one who dumped you, right? So now third step, right, or the third advice I give to you is no matter where you're going, if you're going to the grocery store, there's this rapper that sings, oh, she wears all her jewelry to the bodega. Girl, you better wear all your jewelry to the bodega, right? Look good wherever you're going. Put yourself together so that if you bump into this person, you bump into their friends, they see you and they're seeing you looking good, right? If that means just making sure you put a little effort into putting on a nice little outfit, it doesn't have to be all fancy or anything, but just put something on that's nice, that complements your shape, that complements um, your complexion um, and just put a little more effort into it be seen and get some some good pictures on when you're out so that you can put that up on your your Instagram or TikTok or whatever and just make sure that you're seen and make sure that he sees you but let him see that you're not interested you're not sweating him right so he knows that you look good you're not sweating him you moved on with your life you're looking good you know you're not pressed for him that's so important because you come off as the prize you are the girl to be sought after the last piece of advice is really just um, this isn't about games this is about you right this is about you and making sure that no matter what happens you're moving forward you're not living in the past and this person is not taking up space in your head you want to focus on put your pour yourself into your school if you're in school, your work, a project that you're doing, a business venture, an idea that you've come up with but you just haven't really taken time because you might have been focused on your relationship, put yourself into that. Or put yourself, focus on your relationship with God. Just put yourself, and, and don't fake it. Be real about it because once you get, once you put all your energy, your effort, your mind into this new thing, this important thing, this person that you've broken up with 
become so much less important and you focus on what's critical and it's going to attract so much blessing so much positivity into your life when you do that you'll see a difference so whether it brings this person back or whether it brings some new opportunity or it brings a new possibility in terms of relationship that those those kind of doors will open up for you but if you're kind of like still stagnating and still thinking about this person still crying about this person oh my gosh it's just gonna hold you back and so those are my four right now the bonus thing too to kind of help you kind of wean this person out of your life right until you know they kind of get their act together and come back it's it's also it's a really effective strategy but you know in every relationship no matter how much you may have liked the person or loved the person there's always going to be some things that annoy you about that person and in the process of that breakup or where you just want to get your mind focused on something more positive right in terms of your future and you want to make this person seem less of a significant um, aspect of your life focus on the negative things about that person that you hated and this person you're just gonna just uh, just gradually like kind of push them out of your mental space trust me it works it's such an effective strategy so hopefully you can take these four points and the bonus and implement them and get some really good results I've had friends who have gotten engaged and married following this advice and it's it really works it's effective so take it follow it and you it, it, but I'm not even gonna lie you have to be strong to follow this advice you have to be really really strong but the first piece of advice I gave you is the most important stop calling stop texting don't do any of that right don't do any of that anyway what do you think of this advice? Is this something that you'd follow? Is this something that you have followed? Or what strategies have you taken that has gotten your guy or your girl back into your relationship? Definitely leave a comment, subscribe, and start a conversation.